Hi guys, today I'm going to do a reveal video and maybe kind of a little chit chat video on my handbag uh, collection and maybe ask what you guys think because I'm kind of deciding between two bags um, and a reveal video on a bag that I've had many times and it is, oh, first I want to show you the bag that I've been using and loving, the MCM small medium backpack so I yeah, still love this bag use it Monday through Friday every single day and absolutely obsessed uh, it's my it's my Monday through Friday bag I can't I, I just don't see myself using I might use my Anya tote if once I get sick of this Monday through Friday but this is so convenient Monday through Friday for me so I only switch out of it on the weekends <laughs> Right, as of right now, yes. So the reveal that I have is another coach bag. And as you can see, it's from the 1941 collection. And it is a Rogue in the, this is the full size Rogue, the Rogue 31 in the nude pink color. And I don't need to really go over like this particular bag because I've done tons of reviews on it, but I did want to show this color. It's kind of um, evening right now here. This color is like a chameleon. It changes color in different lights and I really like that. In some color, in some light it looks like tan and then in other lights it looks actually like the pink that it says. And so this color is really, really nice. I happened to get this from a really good friend of mine that uh, saw this at her outlet and she was kind enough to ship it to me so that I could have this bag at a really great price. And I've been, I missed a full size one and when I heard the price of this one, I was like, well, can't go wrong with that. Now this one is the third generation, which I talked some crap on the third generations cause I don't like that they don't have the extra leather uh, piece there and it's missing the clochette but as far as that the quality of this bag feels exactly the same to me as the second generation so I think I can live with the I can live with the details being missing and um, this comes with just the hang tag I can put charms on it you know to jazz it up since it doesn't have the clochette the thing that makes this so beautiful is this wine color on the inside oh my gosh I love that and it's got all the other details, the two straps, it's got the dark hardware, the inside has the normal canvas lining, and it has, this one came with the dust bag and the 1941 tag. It just says 3H124 nude pink, 7.95. So, yes, loving, loving this color. This is like a really good color. A lot of high-end brands do this color, this nude pink color, and you know, ever and a lot of people just love this pinky nude because it goes with so much, and it is a chameleon. You can, you could wear it. Look, at, I'm wearing green. I could wear it with green. I could wear it with maroon. I can wear it with brown, black, blue, anything. It goes. So that's why it's. And it would be a nice year-round color because even in the winter time, I still think this would be a gorgeous color. So. If you're thinking, if you were like against the third generation, I do prefer a second generation, but if they don't make this color in a second generation, so I wouldn't, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to discourage anyone from buying a third generation. To me, they're just as good of quality. They're just missing those minor details. Um, yeah, it still has the 1941 there and it still has the stamp under there. It's, it's exactly the same. All the markings are there. It's pretty much exactly the same. It's just missing that little leather strip and the clochette. So maybe it'll make it, maybe it's a little lighter. I mean, I don't notice it being lighter, but maybe it is because it doesn't have the leather and the clochette. So here she is. Love this. So on to the problem that I'm having. I, should I put a bag here for some like eye candy? Here we go. <laughs> um, so I have been wanting, or I had Louis Vuittons, but I got a Retiro 
p.m. and the retiro p.m. was like really big. I put my stuff in it and it like didn't even fill it up halfway and so it like I don't know it just felt too big for me for my things and I felt like I had all this wasted space in the bag and it was just awkward so I sold that to a friend and she loves it so that went to a good home. My Noe I sold before I got the retiro thinking that the retiro would be my Louis Vuitton bag so <sighs> Right now I have no Louis Vuittons, <sighs> but I'm thinking of venturing into Gucci. And there are, sorry, that's my daughter in the background. There are two Gucci bags that I'm deciding on. Um, and I don't have a picture of them. So this is pretty much pointless to tell you. <laughs> I don't have a picture of them, but um, I, I, they're messenger bags and they're men's style. So I'm a little bit hesitant on that. Um, would you guys buy a men's style bag? A lot of people would say absolutely in a heartbeat. So I'm thinking about, hi, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about buying a Gucci bag. That's my next venture. I have one that I'm looking on a mirror cart and then one I could buy brand new from the Gucci store. So do you think I should buy brand new or go pre-loved? I, of course, am going towards pre-love because I don't like paying retail for anything. So let me know your thoughts on that. Um, if, I had my, if I had my iPad, I could show you the pictures, but uh, my daughter is playing on my iPad. So maybe here in the next video, I'll be able to show you a picture or I'll just do a reveal and you'll see which one I chose. So I think Gucci might be next. And uh, I got my Coach Rogue and nude pink and I still have my Coach Rogue 25 in the black and loving this. And until next time, bye YouTube.